just made the keto chocolates and I don't know, keto, keto, whatever it is. My parents are on the diet and I'm kind of doing it. But yeah, they're dairy free and pretty healthy. I'm actually getting ready to go out to a brewery. So yeah, but before I wanted to make the chocolates because I'm gonna use those as a decoration for the cake that I'm making. I'm making a Game of Thrones keto cake, a chocolate cake for my mom for Mother's Day. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be working on tomorrow. I hope it turns out good. So far, everything I have made keto-wise for dessert has turned out okay, you know? You know, cutting out sugar is not so bad. Look at this little throne that I made. <laughs> I am by no means an artist. I'm not a sculptor or anything. But yeah, it's just something I put together. I printed out a picture of her and I put her in it.
I finished the Game of Thrones Mother's Day cake. It's keto, dairy free, healthy, you know? So yeah, I spent a lot of the morning doing it because had some complications. As you guys saw yesterday, I did the chocolates, the keto chocolates. And yeah, those are just for a snack and to eat along with the cake, whatever. Today I woke up early and I made the actual cake. I had to make two batches. The first batch stuck to the pan. I made sure to spray it really well, but it wasn't enough and it just did not want to come out. I made another batch, but I did not throw that one away. I used them to make these cake balls. I mushed it all up and packed it all together and dipped it into a chocolate sauce that I made. Pretty much the same chocolate that I made the day before, those chocolate keto fat bombs. But instead of using peanut butter, I used some almond butter just to switch it all up. Then I sprinkled some dried coconut on those cake balls and I put them in the freezer. I basically just used them as decoration and I thought they were a nice touch. I put it to use, I didn't have to throw it away, which was really good. The icing came out nice and the cake is all done. I put the Iron Throne on it so it looks really pretty. My mom loved it. I already showed it to her because, you know, I want her to eat it today. I don't want to have to wait for tomorrow. She could start eating it today and she can eat it tomorrow too. So yeah, the cake recipe is from Castaway Kitchen. My mom has the cookbook from the lady that writes on that blog, and she really loves it. It has a lot of great keto recipes, so maybe you'd like to check that out. That's it. Looking forward to Game of Thrones, and it's funny that it coincides with Mother's Day. So, should be an interesting episode. I'm actually gonna post it. You're gonna post this part too? Yeah. I was doing an Aryan move on you, because I'm Aryan. So, getting ready for Mother's Day dinner, I have my Mother of Drogon drink. It used to be Mother of Dragons, but there's only one dragon. So it's Prosecco with frozen bits of dragon fruit. Had a very nice, relaxing day. I still have to do my eye makeup. I had a piece of cake, the Game of Thrones Mother's Day cake that I made, and it was really good. I'm wearing yellow, obviously, as you can see. So, <laughs> I wanna do a yellow look for my eyes. I'm pulling out my Game of Thrones Urban Decay palette. Used it yesterday for my cousin's show, and gonna use it today too. I'm thinking, you know, let's combine some King's Landing Winterfell House Targaryen, the Dothraki. I think that'd create a cute look. I'll do my recap tomorrow after I obviously see the episode twice. If I don't hate it too much. If I hate it, I'll only watch it once. So far, I've seen all the episodes two to three times. Even last episode that I really did not like. Some House Lannister. For Cersei, who is probably gonna die. I don't wanna jinx it, because then if it doesn't happen, I'm gonna be disappointed. Some Dothraki. I had a really nice breakfast today. We did a brunch, ate a lot. I tried to take a nap after, so it was so full, but it didn't work out. Ended up going in the pool and just relaxing and enjoying the beautiful day. Just put some House Targaryen. Gonna put some Winterfell there as well. Actually, wanna do some Casterly Rock. I just 
washed my hair so it's all wet. But I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. I hope you find it useful. Maybe you want to use it for the finale. And I hope you all had a great Mother's Day and a great weekend. Looking forward to, I guess, crying this episode. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, that's it guys. Thank you.